Hello, I'm Dr. Bruce Ewell in the Department of Physiology at Michigan State University. We'd like to thank Hunt for a Cure for your generous gift of research funding on cystic fibrosis. I'd like to tell you what we're doing with your funding. But first I need to say a little bit about what cystic fibrosis is. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease caused by a mutation in a gene called CFTR, which causes the mucus lining of the lungs to become thick. When the mucus is thick, it's difficult to expel, and things get caught up easier in the lungs and the airways. So infection of the lungs happened more readily. If unresolved, this eventually leads to accumulation of fibrous material, or fibrosis, in the lungs. Lung injury by various chemicals leads to activation of a gene called angiotensinogen in the lungs. And that gene and its products lead to cell death and fibrosis. More important, we also showed that in animal models, if we block angiotensinogen action with drugs called ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers, we can prevent lung cell death and fibrosis. In cystic fibrosis, nobody before has tested whether this same scheme is involved in the events that damage the lungs of CF patients. But this is the theory that we are testing in two ways. First, on the left, using human lung cells donated by CF patients, we are asking if the bacteria that commonly infect CF patients, such as Pseudomonas, or Burkholderia sapacea also activate the gene for angiotensinogen and lead to lung cell death. And our early results suggest that they do. And second, in mice, we're going to test if the block of angiotensin function, ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers, can prevent worsening of the lung fibrosis or reduce the degree of lung infection by Pseudomonas or other bacteria that commonly infect the lungs. Now if this works in mice, then we can think about trying something similar in people with cystic fibrosis. Now Dr. Mulks is an expert on these particular bacteria and she is studying their growth and more importantly ways to inhibit their growth that might be useful in treating CF patients. With luck, we should know the results of these initial studies later this year. Again, thank you for your support and keep up the good work at Hunt for a Cure. We look forward to reporting positive results from these initial studies.